Hello everyone and welcome back to Zachary Educational Channel. So in this video, we are going to know a very easy and one of the very frequently asked numerical from the environmental chemistry portions in the UGC NET and any other environmental science examination. So get ready with your notes so that you can write down all these things and very simple formula. Just need to concentrate and know the technique how to solve. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So here comes the question which is asked in the examination. So no need to worry by looking this much lengthy question as I said every time. So we should know the formula and then it will be very very simple. Let's read the question first. The question is asking when drinking water is disinfected. So this is telling, this is not asking first, it is informing. When the drinking water is disinfected with chlorine, an undesired byproduct chloroform may be formed. So this is also giving us a very important information which is also asked in the examination that our drinking water is disinfected with the help of chlorine. So chlorine is the chemical used for disinfecting the drinking water. But as a result sometime due to the chemical reaction chloroform may be also formed. So it is a carcinogenic compound which is formed as a byproduct which is undesired for our body and then comes the question. So that concept is also important you should note down. The question now asking is that suppose a 70 kg person drinks 2 liter of water every day for 70 years. So there is a person whose weight is 70 kg and he or she drinks 2 liter of water every day for 70 years. So with the chloroform concentration, so it is not that he is adding chloroform and drinking, it is because of the byproduct when the water is disinfected which we learned in the first sentence. So when the concentration of chloroform is 0.10 milligram per liter, that is the drinking water standard. So one more concept also we are getting that is if the concentration of chloroform in the drinking water is 0.10 milligram per liter, then it is coming under the drinking water standard. It is not that much harmful. So the question is asking find the upper bound cancer risk for this individual. So this may be causing complication or it will be confusing for some of you that what is this upper bound cancer risk for this individual that means what is the risk we have to calculate in order to find what is the risk for this person to get the cancer from this chloroform and here question is giving that given the potency factor of chloroform as 6.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 milligram per kg day inverse. So this is the given thing potency factor which we will be discussing later on in this video. So we should know the Brahmaster formula that is this thing risk is equal to CDI into PF. So in order to find the risk factor for any of the thing we should know the chronic daily intake. So how much daily intake is the for the any of the human being and then PF is the potency factor for that chemical or compound. So this is the Brahmastra by using this and the given potency factor and given detail we will be able to solve this question very very simply and we will get the full marks. So in the previous slide you would have written the formula that is risk is equal to CDI into potency factor chronic daily intake but how to calculate that. To calculate that, that is also a very simple thing. We should know the average daily dosage of that person of that chemical or compound divided by the body weight of that person. So this will give us the CDI and we have the potency factor already given in the question and simply we will multiply and we will get the risk that is the upper bound cancer risk for this individual. So average daily dose is how much? We have to multiply how much quantity of water that person is consuming? 2 liter of water. And what is the concentration of the chloroform in the water? 0.10 milligram per liter. So 0.10 milligram per liter multiplied by 2 liters of day that is the water consumption by that person divided by the body weight of the person given as 70 kg will give the value as 0.00286 milligram per kg per day that is the chronic daily intake for that person of that compound that is chloroform. So this we have found and we know the potency factor just multiply it and get the solution. So let's move on to the next slide. 
so here everything is already done for you you just need to know this thing that's why i have already solved the cdi we have found that is 0.00286 milligram per kg day and potency factor is already given for the chloroform because for every compound it is a standard thing and it is 6.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 for the chloroform and it is the drinking that is oral consumption that's why this value is this but if it is inhaled the value will be different we will know in the next slide and no need to worry about that so here potency factor of chloroform is given as 6.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by the cdi chronic daily intake it will give the value as 17.4 into 10 to the power minus 6 very easy you can also calculate and check so here the risk will be 17.4 into 10 to the power minus 6 but what does that mean it means that so over a 70 year period the upper bound estimate of the probability that person will get cancer from this drinking water with the 0.10 milligram per liter concentration of chloroform is about 17 in 1 million so the probability is 17 by 10 lakh that is the probability that the person will be affected by this chloroform and will get cancer so we calculated with the help of this formula and first initially we found out that with the help of cdi so finally we got that the probability is 17 by 1 million that is 10 lakh that is the chance that this person will get cancer by drinking this water for 70 long years so this is the thing simple thing which you can get the full marks and now i would like to tell you that one more table just for your knowledge i have added here in this video that is for every different carcinogenic substance or you can say chemicals which are causing the cancer it is having the different category and potency factor is also different if it is oral route or inhalation route for example now we were calculating about the chloroform for its potency factor is 6.1 into 10 to the power minus 3 if it is taken through the oral route it can be food or water and if it is taken in the inhalation form that is if you are inhaling chloroform then its potency factor will be different that is 8.1 into 10 to the power minus 2 in the case of chloroform so these are the different chemicals which you can just look over that because most of the time it will be given in the question no need to worry about this and mug all these things so no need to give more pressure just you should know how to find out the risk that is cdi into potency factor and if you want to see more such videos do comment in the comment section and you can also watch our playlist that is environmental chemistry i have put here so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself